Greeting Earth Dwellers. Um, I thought you would enjoy some DIY. So um, we have a LG 65 um, TV, the OLED one. And uh, the problem we had was that the, um, when you turn it off and put it on standby, um, it doesn't come back on again. So the red light disappears and you have to unplug it, plug it, unplug it, plug it. Anyway, a trawl of the, the internet and YouTube basically of how to um, narrow down the problem to this component here, which is called uh, power control assembly or power control board. It's that bit there. Um, all I've done is taken the back off, um, disconnected the power cable, and then I've got to disconnect that wire, that wire, that wire, and then pull it apart. And I got rubber gloves because one of the videos I saw, the guy got zapped even though it wasn't um, plugged in. So I, I imagine there's some um, capacitor or something in there. Um, so how do we fix it? Well, you find the part and the part number for the 65 is there, which is Echo Alpha Yankee 65689423. Uh, so that's the part number. Um, and the PCB also has a, um, a number as well. So it's just there, that's the number. Anyway, you look online and look everywhere. This TV is a Chinese model. Um, so all the European ones um, weren't quite there. And there's a few OEM parts which um, may fit, may not fit, but they're all about um, 100 to 150 euros a pop just, just for this, which is over a thousand Hong Kong dollars. So I'm gonna take this off. And then I, we rang a guy in China and he said in Chinese, we described the problem. I'm gonna close the door because I can hear Sandy upstairs. And I'm in the bedroom because it's the best place to put this. And he said, uh, ask me, do I have, in Chinese, yo meo, dian lao tie. Um, that means, do I have a soldering iron? Not gonna be soldering it myself. <laughs> My last soldering exercises that I did anything with any sort of level of skill was when I was in the EOD carder in the uh, 80s and 90s. And uh, I wasn't very good at it then. And we had in the EOD, the, so the Royal Hong Kong Police Explosive Ordnance Disposal Bureau and fifth floor of police headquarters had laboratories and we would have everything we needed. And basically we, in order to learn how to dispose bombs, we built them all the time um, with varying degrees of success. Um, but uh, that's the last time I really had any success with a soldering iron. I'm certainly not on a TV of this price going to do it myself. So um, rather than replace the board, I'm going to pack it up, send it by Shunfeng. The next thing to do is, I will put on those because I really don't want to get zapped. Disconnect those. There's one, two, three, four, five, six screws that I can see. Take off this board, um, ground it, um, put it in, wrap it up, and then send it to this guy who's going to repair it and send it back for uh, about five quid. That's China for you. Right, Zaijian. So now I'm rushing on my bicycle down to meet the uh, Shun Fung man. I've got about five minutes because he's on his rounds collecting, otherwise it's Monday. Fanny, Fanny will give you the details. Okay. Yeah, uh, she uh, had email uh, on we'll the thing. Yeah, yeah, all the details. All right, no thank you so much. Thank you, bye-bye. There you go. So, caught the Shun Fung man. He's going, what is it? <laughs> it's a computer board. circuit board. I can't, don't know the Cantonese for that. I can probably make up some random Mandarin word. So 
Better go back, report back to Stormbound Fuhrer. And tell life, hey. So, what have I done? I've just handed over the uh, power control board to um, Shunfeng Express. Uh, if Fanny will send the details of where it needs to be sent to, they'll put the box and the details together, get it shipped over to um, Juhai, I think. Hello, boys. And here, weary of buffalo nowadays after being chased a few times. <laughs> yeah, they can be a bit uh, funny if you go too close, huh? Yeah. So we've got also cows here as well, but the cows will all wander down to the beach, although it's a rainy day, so they'll probably give it a rain check. Okay, three days later, um, the same box I got from the to package up the uh, power control unit is being used to send it back. That's good, recycling, except it's through, is where all the parcels come and you come and collect them. Some get delivered to the house, like uh, DHL and uh, Shunfeng, and some you collect if you use the local uh, delivery service. Um, come down to this sort of central place which is about I don't know a kilometer from the house but uh, not that I don't need the exercise so cycling up the hill back to the house last time a buffalo this time a cows Package has returned from China. I'll go through what the, the, the transport costs were. It's taken three days to Korea to Zhuhai and uh, Korea back. Different packing tape. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. It cost me. What's that cost me? Remember, box was free, packing tape was about 60p. It's been opened, and here is the device, is the power control board. That's like this. There's no bits sticking on. So, oh, which bit has he done? Difficult to tell. So this is the PCB, PCA. Difficult to tell which bits have been done because I can't remember what it looked like. The front I remember. The front looks the same. Right, we put it back in. Okay, so. Here's the, uh, the board, the PCB, and it fits back into this position here. Move these cables out of the way to be attached. And put the uh, I put these on not because I'm going to get zapped this time, but just in case there's any static. Um, and I'll speed this up.
Okay, here's the uh, moment of truth. Does it work? Let's have a look. It works. So turn it off. Oh, press that. So what's happened? It's been unable to do this pixel refresher because it doesn't go into um, standby with the power on, which is what it needs. So it needs a little bit more time. Do not unplug the power during this function. Okay, so it works. Fantastic. Success. So the total cost um, is 90 Hong Kong dollars, which is nine quid about. So just knock off a zero over Hong Kong dollars. Um, the whole transport, um, couriering it to Zhuhai and couriering it back was about 140, so 14 quid. So the whole fix about 23 quid, including transport and of course I did all the stuff disassembled and put back together myself and a little bit of time on um, YouTube learning firstly to diagnose what the part was, what the, what the problem was, what the part I, uh, was and all that kind of thing. And uh, usually my uh, uh, charge out rate is 950 US dollars an hour as a forensic accountant. So um, actually the cost is quite high, isn't it? Side